Oh, good morning, boys. It's been a little bit of a minute. I'm sorry about that. Um, I had another full day of eating recorded. I ended up losing my SIM card, and then I had some personal things going on, switching up my life a little bit. And uh, yeah, we just haven't recorded a YouTube video. So I'm gonna be doing a full day of eating. I'm currently eating 3,000 to 3,300 calories a day, depending on the day. On my training days, if you didn't know, I started boxing three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Usually on my training days, I'm only really able to get in 3,000 calories because I can't eat too much before my training because I will throw up. It's a lot of cardio. And so that's usually the days I eat around that 3,000 area. And then on my days like today, on my rest days, even though I am training, I just don't have boxing, I usually eat around 33, sometimes even touching 3,400, just kind of seeing how my weight is fluctuating. Now, I'm still trying to adjust to this boxing lifestyle because it is three hours. So it's a lot of cardio, a lot of calories being burned. So I'm trying to scale, okay, all right, how much do I need to raise my calories for now and to make sure my weight is steady climbing? As of right now, we are back up to 220 pounds. My cycle is going absolutely amazing. I believe we're on week six or week seven of my cycle, and I think I have around 11, 12 more weeks to go. So right now, I'm decently happy with the way I look. I've honestly gotten a lot leaner, so we definitely need to push these calories up a little bit more. But later on today, I will show you my physique because we are most likely going to be training a little bit of legs and a little bit of back today. All right, man, so meal number one is obviously gonna be breakfast. I kind of have the same breakfast every single day, but the Depending, I can sometimes switch it up and turn that same breakfast in a little bit different. But the beginning of the day is usually when I try to get like most of my protein in. So my breakfast is pretty decently high in protein, also in calories, because it sets me up for the rest of the day. I usually always have higher calories in the morning. And then after I train, it's usually when my hunger kind of falls off a little bit. So what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to establish to that point that you know I can eat consistently around every two to three hours. All right, so we're gonna be having French toast. So we have three eggs we're gonna be putting in our Hilo mix, and then we're also going to have one scoop of birthday cake by rice. I really love French toast because it's gonna give me those carbs at the beginning of the day, because usually after breakfast, I always like to go train about 45 minutes to an hour after, giving my stomach a little bit time to digest. And then we're also gonna be using some cinnamon swirl bread. So this is not really low calories, it's about 100 calories per slice, but at the same time, that's what we need. I wanna get around to usually around 800 to almost 900 calories every single breakfast, every single day. All right, so next we have some bacon where it's Smithfield Thick Cut Applewood. So I'm usually eating around three to four of these a morning. It's around 60 to 80 calories per slice. And they're like hella thick ass pieces, but they're hella flavorful. So they're pretty fucking gas. Just another easy way for me to be able to get my calories in. All you gotta do is slap them in the air fryer for about seven minutes and then things are absolutely perfect. All right, man, so we finally have our breakfast, and this is what uh, we're working with right now. So we have our four slices of the applewood thick bacon, and then we also have our seven slices of French toast, and we have it paired with about 20 grams of blueberries. As you drink, we have low calorie orange juice. So this is gonna be simply light. It's like 15 calories per serving, so it's extremely light. Helps me get more vitamins in early in the morning, plus there's nothing better than a fresh thing of orange juice when you wake your ass up in the morning. So after I get done eating this, I'm gonna put everything in my fitness pal, see what our macros are looking like, and then I'll let you know at the end, and then now it's gonna also help us scale for later on in the day um, as we're gonna be busy. All right, so we just got done with breakfast. We just got slightly ready because we are about to go get a haircut. It is currently 11 o'clock. So for our breakfast, we had seven slices of the Pepper Ridge farm raisin cinnamon bread. We also had three whole eggs, one scoop of birthday cake by rise. Then we also had four slices of the applewood bacon thick slice. So that is gonna put us at 1,080 calories with 66 grams of protein, 111 carbs, and 40 fat. So in this lean bulk, my fats are going to be a lot higher than usual. My last lean bulk, when I was consuming around 2,700 to 3,000 calories, my fats are always around 70 to 80 by the end of the day. Now they're gonna be around that 90 to 110 area because I feel like it's a lot easier for me to be able to get all my calories in. Fats are higher calories than what carbs and protein are. So it just makes it a lot easier for me and it also makes me my stomach feel a lot better because I'm not consuming as much food. One of my biggest issues is my stomach has never really been used to digesting a lot of food at once, um, which obviously comes over time. My digestive system since my first prep just hasn't really been on par 
As of right now, I feel like my digestive system is better than what it ever, ever has been. I'm constantly going to the bathroom probably like four or five times a day, which is really good. I'm making sure I'm getting a lot of fiber. So right now, my diet is pretty on point. I'm really enjoying my diet. So we set ourselves at over a thousand calories already by meal one. Now we kind of gonna take it a little bit easier throughout the middle of the day and then at night, that's when we're gonna step it back up to be able to reach our goal pretty easily. All right, so also part of our breakfast is what we have to do every single morning. We have Tela Masar. And so basically what this is, is this is gonna help me lower my blood pressure. I'm taking around 20 milligrams a day. This is going to help keep my blood pressure in check. I've been known genetically to always have high blood pressure and obviously gear does not help with that. So my blood pressure has always been usually pretty high. I do donate blood around every eight weeks is what I try to go for. I definitely can feel a difference. Usually I kind of know when my blood pressure is high just because I kind of feel it. My heart rate is really fast and my heart always feels like it's beating really fast. So if you want something to help out your blood pressure, if you are taking gear or if you genetically just have it, you, this is telemasartan. This is from Research Cam. You can also get this discounted with code Zay. It's always good to have something like this on hand just in case any issues later on down the road. So thankfully we have a haircut today. Your boy's ego is a little fragile today. I'm looking uh, pretty rough. After that, we're gonna come back, make our pre-workout meal, then we're gonna train some back and shoulders, I'm pretty sure. So hopefully next time I'm back on camera, we look fucking handsome. Ah, uh, I feel so much cleaner. I feel new. We got a clean shave, did a little face mask, we got the haircut. Feeling fucking amazing. Now, even though it is a little bit later than what I usually train, I usually train early in the morning, but since I had a haircut, I decided just to wait a little bit and train a little bit later. So now we're on meal number two and we have our pre-workout meal. So our pre-workout meal is gonna be three chocolate rice cakes. We also have 20 grams of jelly with 15 grams of honey and also one banana. It's gonna give us as fast acting carbs of what we want. It's also gonna help us with the pump, not only with the carbs, but also the sugar. And then to add a little bit extra on top of it, we also have the bananas. And then to even step it up, Another level, I have a scoop and a half of candy watermelon pump powder by Rise. I know I don't take any pre-workout. All I do is take the nitric oxide or the pump powder from Rise. Mix that with Simply Light Lemonade. Step it up even further on some Super Saiyan shit. We also have Tadala Feel from Research Kim as well, Code Zay. This is gonna give you insane pumps. And yes, it is still natty. I almost forgot to put the end macros for the pre-workout meal. So our pre-workout meal was 377 calories. And we are currently at 70 grams of protein, 199 carbs, and 44 fats. So we're at 1400 calories. We're only at mil two. We're gonna try to get this back workout pretty fairly quickly. So I need to come back and deep clean my apartment. That was the plan today. All right, man, so we finally made it to the gym. It took me an extra 20 minutes because I took the wrong fucking way. For some reason, my iPhone decided to put me through the fucking airport. But we're gonna start off with some straight on lat pull downs. We're just gonna do two warm up sets to kind of just put blood in the lat. I'm gonna start off with lats right now because it's gonna be probably a little bit more of a heavily focused row day. Main target today is gonna be the lower back and also the the upper. We're probably looking around like five exercises today. Two of those being lats, the rest of those being rows. Because we did hit back a couple days ago, we're not gonna go too heavy today. We're gonna probably go around the rep range of like, I would say 12 to 15. And then my next back day is when we go a little bit heavier and that's we'll go around that six to 10 range. Right, so first set of these, we're gonna do three sets of 12 to 15. Pretty moderate weight. Really what we wanna do is just get a good stretch and a squeeze for this exercise. Cause this also helps me for the rest of my workout, putting some blood in my back. So really controlling the eccentric. Yeah, keeping that constant strength. Uh, uh, uh. Back's already burning, damn. Like I said, muscle fatigue has been a lot higher since we have been doing boxing. So the day after boxing, I could literally do like one set of something and my body's already like, fuck. This is what personally helped me grow my lats the most. I've done neutral grip lat pull downs since I first started lifting. I've done wide grip lat pull downs, everything. And even though that's so good, my lats, once I start incorporating these, it's when I see my lats blow up the most. Now, again, that's a personal opinion, especially when I learn how to do these. Ah, ooh, a little bit better. Every single rep, you really wanna focus that muscle. So one of the best things is like, I closed my eyes when I first started, and I really like pictured my muscle moving and contracting for every single rep. And then over time, it got to the point now I can just really do that no accident. All right, next. Now we're gonna be ramping up the intensity a little bit. We're gonna just chest supported plate row. For this one, I think we're gonna go to around the three sets of eight to 12 range. And then our fourth set, we're gonna probably go to failure. But this one, the main goal is to not use, you know, heavy ass weight. For this one, we're gonna have two second hold, get a good contraction. Uh, about a two second eccentric. So about a four second rep time. Uh, and we're gonna do these for, like I said, eight to 12. On the failure set, it'll change a little bit. But not until we drop set. 
Oh shit. My back is already like solid right now. I'm trying to switch it up a little bit. I'm trying to bump up my intensity a little bit more. Kind of knock down the volume. Even though I am doing a drop set to failure, that's just something I feel like I can handle right now. But I'm trying to switch how I lift. I'm just trying to lift a little bit more optimally. So in my last off season, I still lifted, you know, pretty decently optimally, but I feel like I just didn't take accountability, you know, to really squeeze and fill in the muscle. So I'm trying to fix it on this cycle. I could blast the shits on a gear, gain 10 to 12 pounds, you know, in the next year, maybe more. But that still doesn't mean I'm gonna go on a pro stage, you know what I'm saying, be top five or top three. It just means I got big. So I wanna put on good quality muscle tissue. We're looking for detail, we're looking for hardness, looking for more muscle maturity. And even though that does take time, I still feel like the way that I'm lifting could only possibly increase that process. So we have our failure set right here. I'm gonna try to go for around that eight to 12 area again. Realistically, I wanna get that middle to get to 10. After that, depending on how we feel, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop one plate and then we're gonna, you know, mostly focus. We're probably gonna hold for around three seconds instead of two. So it'll probably be around a six second rep time. So without the yap fest, this is gonna be ass in simple terms. Let's get it, baby. Ugh. Not the best song for this, but fuck it. Uh, all right, that's more than 10. Uh, uh. All right, that's perfect. All right, let's drop the weight. Oh, okay, baby. Let's go. This is where uh, you become great. This is where your physique changes right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Three, you can't see my face, but I'm closing my eyes for every rep. One, two, three. And I'm picturing my back muscles contracting. Oh. I sound like I'm crying, but I'm not, I swear. <laughs> oh. oh, my back is burning. Our assumption was right. That set was gonna be fucking hot. <laughs> Moving on from that, we're gonna be going to single arm lap pull downs. This is gonna be for my lower back. So for this one, we will not be incorporating too much volume on this. We're gonna do three sets of 12 to 15. But for this one, it's kind of the same tactic as we went to for straight arm lap pull downs. <laughs> really wanna focus on form and really feeling our lower back, especially because most people struggle with that muscle mind connection in the lower back, and especially I do. So you wanna get a nice full stretch, about a two second pause on the bottom, and a nice stress again. <sighs> 12 to 15. <sighs> Uh, not too much of a heavy weight, just something that challenges you. We want to make sure that our form stays on point. Uh, 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 gosh. Uh, that's by far my favorite exercise for lower back. There's personally no other exercise that hits my lower back better than this one. Uh, Uh. 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 Damn. All right. Sands off this exercise right here. Hitting the lower back. Lower back feels absolutely amazing. Going back to a plate loaded chest supported row. But for these, we're going to be using these upper handles right here. We're going to be targeting our upper back. And we're going to do around three sets of eight to 10. Nice, slow, and controlled. Uh, get a nice squeeze. Slow and eccentric once again. Uh, let's do that for three sets. Uh, uh, so this is one of those exercises. I'm still kind of having trouble with in a sense, especially for this machine. 
because I, I've always struggled to have a good contraction in my upper back and I've been trying for like two years now. And it's definitely getting better, you know, physically and mentally when it comes, you know, the muscle my connection and my back growing. It's just, it's a really big genetic weak point. It's gonna take a while, but that's why I'm trying to, you know, go a little bit lighter on these. I got some really good advice a while ago and you know, I'm only going two plates, but it's relatively light for me. Realistically, I could probably put on three plates and rep this shit, but I'm using lighter weight to make it hard. Make myself, you know, use my muscles to its full advantage instead of just getting fucking heavy weight and rowing that bitch, you feel me? So that's kind of one of the things I'm doing right now. And I feel like if you're trying to look for, you know, a change in your training or a weak point, I would personally suggest it. I'm not saying I'm right. This is just my personal opinion, like I always say. But I've seen a big change. I mean, even these past like month and a half, like my upper back has definitely grown, a, you know, a little bit fuller. So I'm gonna keep trying this. Like I said, we have run like, I always say different. We got weeks to the end of our cycle and you know, this growth phase. And we'll just see how, you know, I'll, you know, take pictures of my development and see, you know, if this training, you know, regimen that I'm trying right now work. The gym a little bit early because we are running late on meals. So it's already six o'clock. We got around what? 2k calories more to eat so i was like all right bro we're gonna have to cut this shit a little short but we are now at uh, our mill at our apartment because we have a new young la package for the new young la drop coming up i think may 3rd uh, yeah that bitch fat as hell i can barely get my fucking fingers through that bitch so now we are on meal number three and meal number three we're gonna have a protein shake this will really help me catch up with the rest of my calories as of right now i'm not too crazy hungry to eat a big meal like i usually do so what we're gonna be doing is we have a protein shake i usually will switch this around to either three four maybe even five depending on the days if i even need five meals this is just something to help me get my protein in very easily and also my calories so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put two scoops of rice protein in there for cinnamon toast crunch just because we are a little bit low on our protein at the moment so we want to use this to kind of catch us up in a sense. the goal is to get around 220 to 230 grams of protein a day so we are looking at about one gram to 1.2 grams every Every single day. Another reason I really like this protein shake because it's a very good way for me to get a lot of my micronutrients in and we're going to be adding some blueberries. So we're going to add around 60 to 70 grams of blueberries. I really like having a protein shake. I've never been a protein shake person, but I guess you consider this kind of like a smoothie. Another plus to this protein shake or the protein smoothie is that it's another good way for me to get my vitamins, my micronutrients in and also my fiber by fruits. So we're going to add 70 grams of blueberries in there and we're going to add a banana. This will most likely weigh about a hundred 140 grams so we got 140 gram bananas so the reason I like fruits and my protein smoothies right now is because it's helping me with my digestive system the more fiber you have the easier it is to you know go to the restroom and shit like that so with me eating all this food and all this protein we want to make sure we keep our digestive system going we want to make sure that we can keep going to the bathroom we're not getting bloated we're not holding on a lot of water from your body being a lot of stress from eating a lot of food which my body does so this is an easy and guaranteed way for me to get my fiber and my macronutrients and my protein in, and this shit tastes fucking gas. Also, we are gonna be adding 150 grams of strawberries. Strawberries has gotta be one of my favorite fruits for me and also my coach. Really good for fiber and it's very fulfilling. These things are really not that high in calories. And I know at this point you're like, well, Zay, you're on a lean bulk, you should be worried about that. But that's not true, bro. There's a lot of benefits for eating fucking strawberries. On prep, I eat like 300 grams of these at the end of the night and I swear to you, that shit literally saves my life. Life. These things are extremely fulfilling, amazing benefits off eating these daily. So if you're someone who worries about their health a lot, I would definitely start trying to include a little bit more fruit into your diet. I personally feel a lot better. And so my physique is showing off it, off these different foods that I'm including instead of kind of eating shit food to be able to get my calories and protein in it. All right, so after we added the 150 grams of strawberries, now we have our Okios Triple Zero Yogurt. So usually I add around 200 grams to 170 grams, but I'm a little bit low on it. I forgot to get it this morning, but there's no worries because I can easily make up for the loss of calories that I'm gonna be getting out of not having all of this but we can still probably squeeze at least 50 grams out of this shit. We wanna get everything we can, especially how much money I spend. Y'all know how much money I spend at the grocery store? Like, I'm not joking. I probably spend easily like $150, $200 weekly on groceries alone, possibly even more, bro. So we got 63 grams. We can work with that. It's actually not, that's a, 
very good feel. We're sitting right in the middle right now. All right, next we got our peanut butter. Get some of those fats in. Also to help with calories, we're gonna add around 40 grams of that. Usually I add 30 grams of peanut butter, but since we don't have our yogurt, I'm gonna add 40 just to add a little bit of extra calories. Another thing I didn't buy today was almond milk. So we're gonna add a little bit of almond milk, a very pitiful amount, but we're gonna add a little bit of ice in there just to add a little bit of more of that smoothie texture. Not too much though, we don't want too much. We don't want it to be a fucking ice protein shake. So unfortunately we gotta add a little bit of water to make it a little bit more liquidy, but mixing with the almond milk actually is not gonna ruin the taste whatsoever. And plus we got so many good ingredients in this that this really shouldn't do that much damage to the shake. Next we blend. Mm. I can't lie, this shit is actually pretty gas. Now I wish it was a little bit more almond milk to make it not as like watery, but the peanut butter and all the fruits kind of balanced it out. The protein shake had two scoops of rye cinnamon toast crunch protein. It also had 150 grams of strawberries, 70 grams of blueberries, 63 grams of triple zero vanilla yogurt, and also 40 grams of peanut butter. That is now gonna place us at 2102, so 2,102 calories for the day. We're at 137 grams of protein. We're at 242 carbs, and we're also at 70 fats. So as of right now, we're honestly pretty decently on track. But I need to take a shower because I feel absolutely gross and I need to deep clean my apartment. Absolutely deep clean, go fucking crazy. I'm gonna see you in the next couple hours for our next meal. But number four, first of all, before I get into all this, this shit right here, I put you fucking on, okay? Remember that. Okay, so I have high cholesterol, okay? I can't eat too much red meat, but some days I have to come back home from boxing. I gotta eat 10 ounces of a big ass steak, okay? That's just how it's always going to be. I'm gonna get my fucking calories and protein in, all right? This right here is gonna be 93% lean taco fresh ground turkey. I don't know, I fucking hate ground turkey. I hate it, all right? I eat the 99 and 98%. I ate that shit for like six months straight. I'm tired of it. It tastes like fucking grass and ass. <laughs> it just doesn't taste that good, but the taco season one is gas and it's only about 170 calories for four ounces. So it's a little bit higher, but fuck it. I need it anyway. So we have six ounces of the taco seasoned turkey. We also have a little bit of green peppers and onions mixed in. And then we also have two cups of jasmine rice. We got some hot sauce on that bitch. And then we're also pairing it with the uh, zero sugar Sprite. All right, so I finally just put on the new shirts that Younger Ladies dropped on May 3rd. And uh, not to hype these things up, okay? But these are by far the best shirts they have probably dropped in over a year. So I don't think the camera's gonna be able to pick up all this detail, but this shirt is literally so soft. And it also has some rips at the end on the sleeves and also at the bottoms. It appears that it's a little bit slightly cropped. I wish it was a little bit more, but then again, this is an XL. Here is the design on the back. So it kind of has like a horse and like, I guess a guy with a spear holding it. It says Young LA. But these shirts are mad fucking comfortable, bro. I bought hella colors and thank God I did. And they also have these sick ass cutoffs. And I'm not really too much of a cutoff person. Realistically, I don't even like wearing like my arms out too much or really just showing my physique just because of body dysmorphia. But like, this shit is pretty sick, bro. Like, honestly, I gotta say, I've never really liked too much Young LA's cutoffs, but this one, like, I really, really, really do like these. So this is gonna be a charcoal color. It has Young LA, kind of like the drip tee. It literally is exactly the drip tee, but it's kind of cut off. So we have the drip in the back, so it's gonna be black and, like, white dripping down in Young LA. And this is also charcoal, but this shit right here looks pretty fucking sick, especially my tricep. Look at that shit. They're gonna be wearing these shits every shoulder and arm day. And if you're more of, like, a simplistic person, they also have the same exact material and also the detail on the side and the neck and also the bottom and a regular kind of just young LA shirt and it has the young LA symbol in the front right on the chest then on the back is plain too these are extremely comfortable I'm really a simplistic guy so I probably be wearing these a lot too I probably won't wear them too much in the gym I probably just wear them like you know what I'm saying when I'm going out or doing something because I really do really like this shirt a lot so I believe this is dropping May 3rd 2 p.m. CST so code day says you 15 percent off helps you out a lot so thank you all right man so it's way past my bedtime but we need to get our last meal in so fucking grow we're only around 280 calories away from what our goal is to be around 3,000 to 3,300 today we're going to be hitting around 3,100 i believe all right so last meal of the night real quick simple and easy because your boy is kind of tired it is like 12 15 at night we stayed up a little late we've been cleaning up our house we still have a little bit more work to do but by tomorrow morning we should be pretty fairly done and tomorrow is a rest day but we have two scoops of cinnamon toast crunch protein by rise code zay and usually I'm just using this just because this is the only protein I personally will be able to digest with only water because we don't have any almond milk, so I'm using water. Okay, so for our daily macro today, we're at 3,017 calories with 223 grams of protein. So we hit our protein right on the dot. We're at 329 grams of carbs for the day, and we also are at 95 fats. 
I can't lie, I'm pretty happy with these calories today. Like I said, usually it's around that 3,000 to 3,300 range, really depending on the day. I'm still getting my body really just adjusted to kind of being very frequent on this diet. I gotta be honest, um, as of recent, you know, when I was traveling everything, the diet wasn't the best. As I got back, it was slowly getting back on par, but I was only really following my diet around like 60% a week. Now I'm to the point where I really haven't been really going out eating cheap meal. Last Sunday, a few days ago, I got my first like out meal i had sushi and noodles and shit like that but i really didn't eat that much uh that day or the day prior so i didn't really count that as a refeed and my weight didn't really like go up at all if anything it dropped so i ended up getting taco bell because it was like one o'clock in the morning it was intrusive thoughts so i was like fuck it i'm just gonna go get a cheap meal and i ate a shit ton of taco bell and that shit was gas and then i honestly looked even better than what i did prior to just following my diet 100%. So we've been following our diet very strong. We're doing very well. We're getting great micronutrients in. We're getting you know all the resources that we really want. There's a few other things I do need to add for my diet and I gotta do a little bit more research on my end to add more things. Like I said, I'm really in a journey right now where I kinda just wanna put my body and, you know, and just feed it right. I just wanna make myself healthy, make my body, you know, be you know just healthy overall in a sense just because i am being a little bit more physically active now with boxing you know i'm doing cardio for three straight hours so you know it's very taxing it's very demanding and doing that first week and you know being on that shitty diet my body was really beat up and it was very tired i was getting very fatigued now i been eating my regular diet, like the diet I need to be. I've been sticking to my diet pretty much 100%. I just feel good and my mental feels really good. So I'm gonna stick to this. I'll give you a full day of eating in around two weeks when I do bump my calories up just a little bit more. And I do believe in that two weeks, uh, my digestive system will be on par, everything will be a lot easier. So it's already gotten so much easier in literally only two weeks. So I can only imagine what it's gonna be like in another two weeks. But I really hope you all enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry for being a little bit late on YouTube. I've been having a lot of things, of uh, personal issues going on lately and I just haven't had the love for YouTube. I've been doing decently well when it comes to like mental and everything like that because I have a lot of y'all DM me asking if like I've been okay and everything and like I have been okay. There's just been a lot of personal things going on but at the end of the day that's just being a fucking man. You can't complain about it, especially with some of the personal issues I'm so blessed to have in my life, even though they might not make me feel the best, but at the end of the day, I'm blessed to have the opportunity to even have the struggle of what I'm going through right now. And that's another thing. I've been doing really well um, when it comes to just feeding myself positivity. And now I know that's kind of cringy to say, I've been reading a book called 70 Ways to Control Your Mind. It's a lot of philosophy and a lot of quotes, and it just gives you you know, a very good perspective on how you can view things. I've been trying not to complain as much, I've been trying to show myself how blessed I am to be in the life situation I am now, good or bad. And I try to look at everything on the positive. I want to say I'm very thankful for y'all. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. If you do want to support your boy, Code Day Off Rise, Code Day Off Young Light, Code Day Research Cam, it's an absolute blessing for y'all to be able to support me and to even watch this YouTube video. But thank y'all so much for watching again for the 30th time. This is your boy, Zimmy Some Fit. Like the video if you enjoyed. Comment down below what else you want to see if you have any questions. And also sub to the YouTube channel. Peace.